But when doing some major construction projects, you just never know what you're going to encounter. Yes, yeah, Spire running into a first in Bowman County. <laughs> Our lead pack on this story tonight and Lee, not one, but two gopher tortoises in the path of the project. Yeah, Lenise and Byron, at this point, the tortoises are not halting or delaying the work, but the process to uh, remove and relocate them, it's a waiting game and a very slow one. Inching along, Spire's gas line expansion is underway in Spanish Fork. So up here, you'll see. Back around the first of the year, Spire's environmental team located a gopher tortoise burrow in the line of the project. Gopher tortoise burrow, they have a unique shape. A lot of people can, can get them confused with armadillo if they don't know what they're looking at, but it's, it's like a half moon shape burrow. It's right here. And as pipeline manager Kyler Stewart explains, curious employees knew it was an active hole. So they would drive by and they would actually see it right here on, on the apron. And, you know, as soon as they slowly get, if they stop or just went by really slow, they got nervous. They would shoot right, turn around, shot right back in the burrow. Um, so, you know, it, it, they're very aware of their surroundings. There's no doubt about that. By coincidence, before Spire, Kyler worked for an environmental firm in Florida, removing, you guessed it, gopher tortoises. Waiting for warmer weather, they set a trap last week and caught this adult female this weekend. She's since been relocated by the Alabama Department of Wildlife. But here's where it gets interesting. So I had a, one of my contractors came out with a camera. We scoped the burrow on Monday morning and I looked over and I said, David, I said, what is that on the camera? He goes, that's another tortoise, Kyler. I was like, really? We're doing this all over again? Several hundred gopher tortoises I've, I've excavated or bucket trapped and relocated. Never have had, had two tortoises in one burrow. So this is new for me. This is new for the company. So they set another bucket trap, hoping to get lucky a second time. So this is this is what we call the apron of the burrow. There's a bucket right here that we kind of co I covered in dirt. That way it allows the tourist to come out feeling safe, falls in the bucket. He checks it four times a day. Yep, it's down there, living, breathing, having a good time. How far? How far down you were saying? So it's uh, 25 feet. Is from from what we measured off the uh, this, this the camera. So far, the tortoise taking its time. No hurry, no rush. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. Like a tortoise, it's a slow process. It is, exactly. Very slow process. <laughs> Spire, of course, doing the right thing. They're hoping to catch and relocate it before the weather moves through this weekend. We'll, of course, keep you updated.